Yo, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing great. In the next few minutes, I wanted to do a quick analysis and price prediction on Polymath uh, against USD on Coinbase because most uh, volume is traded on Coinbase. Um, as you might have all seen, we had quite a big fundamental bearish move uh, across all cryptos. Polymath actually uh, didn't really suffer from it. I think it might have gone even higher uh, if it hadn't happened because here you can see a very big bearish bearish candle found support here at uh, 69 uh, cents support level um, and now the price has actually reached this uh, very big resistance uh, because with polymath there's a very big and strong resistance from 83 cents up until 85 cents uh, but here you can see all of these red things like eodix um, was, was already bearish last week like uh, in, in the middle of last week so that's why it's bullish right now uh, same goes for the sandbox same goes for lto as well oh wow that's actually up i might do an update on that later on um but yeah uh, polymath so um because this bull run uh i mean take a look at this candle here you can see that a lot of resistances have actually breached and there were there was a lot of uh, buyer momentum to actually get through all of these uh, resistance areas eventually found uh, resistance here at 95 cents and then it dropped all the way down to uh, 69 in my opinion um, we will still go up or we might consolidate a little bit i'm still taking into consideration that we might see another drop in november so we might actually see a drop to the maximum i think 66 cents if it goes below that uh, it's a really big drop and i wouldn't even trade at all except for maybe uh, dcaing your way into into certain cryptos you're interested in but yeah, I think we could see such a drop. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to happen. I do think that Polymath is going into a small consolidation, consolidation just because um, a lot of like momentum was exhausted within these moves. You can actually see, I mean, this candle, that, that's crazy. Here, such a long wick. It's a wick of almost uh, 20, 30 percent. So it's kind of exhausted. So I think uh, Polymath is going into a, yeah, I don't care. It's going into a small consolidation and that might look in the most bearish scenario here from 66 and otherwise probably something like this. And then in a few uh, days at least, um, yeah, a few days at least, maybe a week, a week or two, I think we can actually uh, get through and we might find resistance here at 96 cents and then take a break retest of, of anywhere between 90 cents and 87. And if we do, I think we can actually reach maybe like, maybe it will find some resistance at $1, but I think eventually we'll go to uh, $1 and 5 cents and that'd be my next price target uh, if the uptrend or a bullish move is uh, started up again. Uh, because I do think we need to consolidate first a little bit. Um, just because, as I said, buyer momentum was exhausted a lot with these candles and with these um, resistance areas. Um, so yeah, that's basically my analysis and opinion on a polymath against USD on Coinbase. Uh, I want to remind you that this is not financial advice. It's just my opinion based on technical analysis. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible to give some further explanation. And as for now, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.